name John Nate.
Thursday, about seven. Yes. Next week, reading Charles Dickens. Oh, that's nice. And no, you idiot! I mean your crime organisation. I know why you're here. And plus, I know a Mordecai when I see one. But ah, it's written all over you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? I picked up a few skills from an old friend. Now, how would he put it? I can spot crime a mile off. I'm like a coiled viper ready to pounce. I'm a sniffer dog sniffing the smelly stools of illegality. <laughs> and plus you have the note saying, gone off the rug, 14 pigs will text. It'll pay for the money I lost. <laughs> Love you, smutty kins. It's not too difficult, McCoy. Damn, four by an IOU. Wait a moment, you're John Knight. You're, 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 you're Curtin's assistant. Yes, I am. Well, I used to be. But Curtin has cast me aside after a rather embarrassing incident involving a, uh, uh, a peacock, a banana, and some tree <laughs> Listen, McCoy! I've been left in the dirt for too long now, and I want revenge. Take me to Mordecai! Okay, then. Oh. Was that it? <laughs> All right, off we pop. Oh, wait a moment. You'll have to wear this blindfold. I don't trust you yet. Now, don't you be directing me in a bin for a cheap chuckle now. <laughs> Stop whining. You're a villain now. And so began the very dark and arduous journey in which the burglar led Knight into Mordecai's secret lair. They even shared a cup of tea at Mrs. Horace's tea and crumpet shop along the way. Of course, being villains, they didn't leave a tip. <laughs> McCoy avoided the temptation to play games, but Knight still stepped in a huge dollop of steaming horse manure. <laughs> 